Hello, welcome to this guide on collaborative learning from us at the Academic Skills Centre. In this video, we will look at what you'll gain by working in groups, what makes an effective group, ways to communicate effectively with each other. Working collaboratively is an important part of the university experience and you may come across it in various ways. For your studies, you may need to work with others on assignments such as presentations, projects, reports and practicals. Or it might be that you work with others for non-study related activities, such as in societies or volunteering roles. It's likely that you may also need to work collaboratively, both in person and also online. The good news is that learning to work effectively with others is such a valuable and important skill, both for life and any future employment. Working with others allows you to share and gain new ideas, often sparking new and creative thinking. It's also a chance to try things out with others and gain feedback from different perspectives in order to then develop further. As you work with others, it provides a real opportunity to meet and support each other and equally receive support yourself. Take a moment to think about any groups or teams you may have worked in before. Consider what worked well or perhaps what didn't. What do you think makes an effective team? You may have thought of some of these ideas. Being very clear from the start about what your shared team goals, roles and timescales are absolutely key. Communicating respectfully and well in order to share ideas, make decisions, deal with problems and also being able to compromise is important. This ties into taking responsibility collectively for what the team does as a whole, the good and the bad, sharing disappointments, not blaming each other looking for solutions to conflicts or failures, sharing the praise and the glory together. This will help ensure you support each other and work effectively with different personalities. You also need to remain positive, motivated and flexible wherever you can. And finally, taking time to reflect on and assess what you have done. It's likely working in a group that you will be a mixture of personalities with different strengths and this can sometimes be challenging. So effective communication between yourselves is really important. When you are expressing questions and ideas, address these to everyone and try to do this as clearly as possible to avoid any misunderstandings. Listening is just as important as speaking. So when others are talking, Listen carefully and respectfully without interrupting. Silence in a group is important too, as this gives everyone time to think and quieter members of the group a chance to speak up. People will undoubtedly have different views and experiences, and it's important to always be non-judgmental and inclusive of these. Taking into account different perspectives can really help to shape and develop your own thinking. And of course, there will likely be things you disagree with. So try and do this as respectfully as possible, always backing up what you say with clear reasons. And remember, with working in groups, there will always be compromises which have to be made. When communicating as a group, it might be helpful to consider some useful open phrases to use. When facilitating initial discussions, you might like to use phrases to clarify your purpose, such as what are we trying to find out? Or what do we need to do next? Making an effort to bring others into the discussion is important too by saying, can anyone add to this? Or we haven't heard from, what do you think? And there will be times when you will need to move the discussion on in order to make progress. So some useful phrases here might be, am I right in thinking that we all agree on this point? How shall we take this forward? Or is there a compromise we can make to move this forward? It's likely that however you're working with others, there will be some form of online collaboration involved. There is an online learning guide on the Academic Skills Gateway with guidance on different tools you can use to share notes and documents, mind map ideas, and generally communicate with each other. 
Finally, here's a checklist you can use to get off to a good start. Get to know each other, create the team ethos, set ground rules, decide processes and establish collaborative ways of working. Set team goals, make a team analysis of your skills and strengths, clarify the tasks, allocate the roles and do the work. Remember, the Academic Skills Centre can support you in your studies with a wide range of academic and digital skills. Explore the Academic Skills Gateway for our online guidance or book a one-to-one -one appointment with a friendly Academic Skills Advisor. Visit our website for all further details and we hope to see you soon.